so design example um, so we use so we use for this um, high level python commands and um, and so these these high level python commands they are, they are provide us directly directly with these um, second order filter commands provide us with um, second order filter coefficients this is done done with an um, with the option output equals SOS so we, we will see this and um, and so the the actual example is as as usual what we always do here is um, 50 Hertz removal with the Butterworth Butterworth stop band filter and then we, we, we are creating these chains of these second order order filters so we had this already before so if we have a sampling rate of um, 1 kilohertz so we have a frequency f1 is 45 f2 55 so our classical band stop filter for 50 hertz removal what we've done already a couple of times so 45 to 55 hertz so that's frequency that's h of f and then um, here we have we have now now the um, command signal dot butter and then two comma square bracket f1 divided by fs multiplied by two comma f2 divided by fs multiplied by two and then um, we want to have a stop band filter and um, and then this and this important option here output equals SOS that's a bracket bracket around there so that's a bit squeezed here yeah so that's the SOS so, so, so this creates us here the second order structures and so then then the variable let's call is also SOS and then with that here so we are um, creating here that's the array array here of array of second order IIR filter coefficients and so so very simple um, so let's then let's now have a look at the um, coefficients which are actually generated by by this by this command here um, and see what range we have so that we need to make a decision now how to scale scale them up and so so I've already prepared this command here because that's um, no point of me um, of you watching watching me typing that and so so here we've got got this what I've just described here and so here we um, we have we have the sampling rate of one kilohertz 45 to 50 55 and then um, I'm creating the the SOS here. So remember, these are still floating point numbers. So therefore, if I if I run this here, so now this is, has just finished here. So if I do SOS of of zero, this gives us the first the first um, filter, and then the SOS of one gives us a second filter here. 
and so now now we need to need to make a de decision here how to how to scale this so what is what is our our scaling factor our scaling factor and so so if we're looking at the um, coefficients here then um, so that one is nearly two here then that one is nearly nearly minus minus two so in so in therefore um, the in the coefficients they're all just just below two yeah so all all SOS coefficients uh, just just below two, and um, and then remember we have as a as a coefficient we have we have here um, short ints. So if we if I go and go back here to to our filter, let's have a look again. So what our coefficients are here? So our coefficient is is short int. So so we need to scale it up that it still fits into into a short int. So so what is the what is the range the range of um, short int? So the so if you go go back here, so all SOS coefficients are are just below two, so we we want short int. So so how do we do we scale this up? So so short int. So what's the what's the range of um, short int? So that um, short int runs from minus thirty two thousand. Two plus thirty-two. So we need to, so so we need to make sure that we are here within within this range when we are when we are scaling up. So scaling scaling of the um, coefficients. So our. Our Butterworth command provides coefficients between between roughly roughly minus one um, one point nine two two plus. 1.9 and um, so we would like to to scale it to minus 32,000 and um, 2 plus so these are the are the maximum maximum values For for short int, so what's the so what's our our scaling factor? What we are getting out there? So so roughly so roughly roughly from from factor two to to that here, and so that 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 looks like two to fourteen. So let's let's try this here. So. So if we have something like two to fourteen as a as a scaling factor, so let's see let's see if this if this gives us the right the right range. So if I go back here to Spider, so if we if we say um, so let's just quickly check so. If I if I if I squeeze it here a bit, 
bit above that we that we still still see that. So these are our coefficients here in still floating point arithmetic. So if we have um, two 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 fourteen, so that's sixteen thousand three hundred eighty four. So therefore, if you are if you are multiplying that with something like um, slightly less than two, so we should be within this range. So let's see if this works. So if I say SOS and then SOS multiplied by two to fourteen. So let's have a look at the at the coefficients now. So let's check that none of these exceeds these these ranges here, and so we see that's that's looking quite promising. And, um, and so obviously now we can also do SOS um, numpy round that we actually really have um, have um, stripped off the um, fractions behind the decimal point. 